ओके सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन इवन द गुड स्टूडेंट्स द टॉप रैंकिंग स्टूडेंट्स मेक मिस्टेक्स ओके सो लिसन केयरफुली a switch sw is shifted from position 1 to position 2 as shown in the figure heat generated in the circuit is so this is a standard problem but many students make mistake in this i will tell you why you will also make make the same mistake probably so heat generated in the circuit options are independent of v1 v2 dependent on v1 v2 something like that so when it is connected in position 1 both the batteries will be working together because the positive is connected to the negative so let's write the initial energy so if i write the initial energy is equal to half c and the net voltage will be v1 plus v2 so half c v1 plus v2 whole square right this if you expand this this will be half c v1 square plus half c v2 square plus half c 2 v1 v2 so c v1 v2 this is the initial energy now when you connect the circuit in position 2 this is v1 and you are connected in position 2 so now finally the energy will be you will say the final energy in this case is equal to half c v1 square and then you have initial energy you have final energy you will take the loss initial minus final and when you subtract it you will see that it depends on both v1 and v2 right if you do v initial minus v final half c v1 square will get cancelled then you will have the term of half c v2 square plus c v1 v2 so it is depending on both v1 and v2 and you will be happily marking option as 4 but of course the fourth option is incorrect why it is incorrect i will tell you because you forgot that charge on the capacitor will also change so if charge is changing that means there some charge must have flown through the battery and there will be work done by battery also now you understood the mistake that students generally make in this question okay so now you see what is the work done by battery we will calculate initially in position 1 what will be the charge initial charge will be let's say this is initial charge so initial charge is equal to c into v1 plus v2 and now only when position 2 is connected when uh, it is connected in position 2 this is v1 so now what will be the charge now the final charge final charge will be only c into v1 so initial charge was c v1 plus v2 initially it was plus and minus when position 1 was connected now the charge is c v1 so charge has decreased so that means from positive terminal c v2 must have come out from c v1 plus c v2 charge has become c v1 only that means c v2 charge must have come out like this and gone through the battery like this this charge must have flown like this c v2 right when you connected in position 2 from c v1 plus c v2 the charge has become c v1 that means c v2 must have flown through the battery as shown so what will be the work done by battery first of all will it be positive or negative so charge is going into the positive terminal coming out so work done by battery is negative and work done by battery is minus of sorry minus because it is going inside and it is charge flown into potential difference so charge flown is c v2 and potential difference of the battery is c v1 so this is what generally students misses now what will be the answer now the answer is simple work done by battery plus work done by conservative plus work done by non conservative plus work done by external is equal to zero work energy theorem there is no external force here we are not moving the plates of the capacitor or something this is zero work done by non conservative we have to find out work done by battery we already know it is minus c v1 v2 now what is work done by conservative this also we have found out work done by conservative is initial energy minus final energy so this result was initial energy minus final energy was half c1 get square cancelled so initial minus final is half c v2 square plus c v1 v2 half c v2 square right this one half c v2 square plus c v1 v2 plus c v1 v2 so this is the work done by conservative initial minus final so now what will be the answer just combine it together work done by battery is minus c v1 v2 work done by conservative is plus half c v2 square plus c v1 v2 work done by non conservative we have to find and is equal to 0 so this also gets cancelled and work done by non conservative is minus half c v2 square obviously it should come minus because there is a heat loss or you can say heat loss is equal to half c v2 square 
so now you see it only depends on v2 it does not depend on v1 so this is something a uh, very good question a uh, easy question but students generally make mistake in this so what will be the answer it is independent of v1 so independent of v1 but dependent on v2 and what will be the value of the loss the heat loss in this case will be half c v2 square understood so never forget the work done by battery work done by battery is important when charge is changing all right all the best